In 2012, Tony put out this grand mission, um, which was to create the most community-focused large city in the world. And Tony attracted thousands of people into downtown Vegas. Many people wanted to see what this was about, and many uprooted their lives and invested their savings and uh, moved their families out here for this. And so there was a high level of emotional investment in the project. And I think that that sometimes go, goes uh, overlooked when we're thinking about how do we assess what happened. Um, clearly downtown is better. It's absolutely a better neighborhood, better place to live than it was a few years ago. But we should be looking at, so how did the uh, downtown project community fall short of hitting its mission? What happened really was Tony lost interest in his vision. And by when he lost interest, everyone else started to lose interest as well. DTP opted to make a lot of bets. Um, Downtown Project opted to throw money out, uh, you know, basically to anyone who came in uh, to downtown around 2012, 2013. Uh, but when you're making a lot of bets, you can't concentrate and focus on helping a few succeed. And and the ones who succeeded, if you look carefully, um, they're the entrepreneurs who had the support. Uh, unique support from Tony or other investors, but those who really came out here and did it alone, um, they were John waning it and, and it just wasn't going to work. I would say it's accurate that I have gone through all of the emotions and had to process what happened with Downtown Project and um, I, I really had to go through the five stages of grief around what happened with this project and that's because I was all in. I bought into the mission and I really believed in it and at one point in time it, I, I actually do believe it was possible to accomplish something that was really close to, to the, the mark that was set. And, and that sounds uh, maybe crazy, but I, I believe I was one of the biggest believers. And, um, and so there's sadness. I, I, I'm personally sad about what happened, but I also absorbed a lot of the emotion in the community. So um, as a Gonzo journalist, I decided part of Gonzo is understanding the emotions and the psychology of the community and so it was natural for me to kind of pick up on that and, and sadness was actually the predominant emotion that I came across.